With the corn cracker suitably supported at the rear of the machine, the first step in bleeding the corn cracker hydraulics involves us setting the adjustment piston to bleeding position. Currently we can see here we have two notches. At the edge of the first notch we are at minimum gap. At the edge of the second notch is then the bleeding setting. To adjust, simply use our 24mm socket and wind the adjustment piston out to our bleeding position. This bleeding position can also be cross-referenced from the operator's manual and measured from the edge of the adjustment piston to the edge of the adjustment pump. Now that the adjustment pump is in bleeding position, we can then use our mini mass line to connect our pump to the machine. The hydraulic connection on the rear of the machine is under the rear panel on the silver filter block. Here we have another mini mass connection. We can connect our hose to here. Now that the machine has been connected to the corn cracker, we can now start the machine to provide an oil supply to the cracker. With the oil supply provided, we can now connect a clear piece of pipe to our bleeding point and catch that with a suitable container. With the pipe connected, we can now open the bleeding pipe and when the oil flows freely from the bleeding point with no air bubbles, we can close the bleeding nipple and the bleeding process is complete on this side. Next, the process should be replicated on the opposite side to complete the bleeding process. When the bleeding process is complete, the machine can be switched off and the adjustment pump can be returned to minimum gap. Once the pump has been returned to minimum gap, we can now switch the machine off and disconnect the oil supply pipe from the corn cracker and catch any excess oil.